Moin and hello. I'm sorry we gonna no we're not gonna have we might have some technical difficulties because out of nowhere my PC decided now oh, it's time to run some processes in the background and currently I have something that is called uh, Nvidia share running at almost 100 percent of the CPU. Uh, strange because I don't remember enabling this thing ever like that. But ever, never, never mind. Uh, let's hope that everything will be fine during the stream. We're gonna have no problems and everything will be a okay. Anyway, uh, uh, la, 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 e, moin. Uh, on topic of the moin, I plan to be in Hamburg in like on the long May weekend, so maybe there will be even uh, an opportunity to meet with some of my friends and colleagues and fans from Hamburg. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe I will have time. Maybe I will not have time. It all depends how how things gonna fly. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I even will take my drone with me. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, so maybe even uh, someone from Hamburg will want to show me some awesome places you have over there to fly. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Anyhow, anyhow, today we are meeting on this special day because I have some building to do. <laughs> and this is usually my motivation to uh, proceed with the builds. Uh, we were already working on this thing like in December, I think. But then I was sick, then I was sick again. I was almost not able to speak, then I was sick again. And now, one more later, I have this thing mostly prepared. I mean, uh, it has a flight controller, it has ESCs, it has the GPS, very cool Matek uh, M10 uh, GPS. It has the air unit. And if you take a look at the color air of the air unit, you probably will notice that Da -dum -da -dum. It's the O3A unit. And yes, this is not a coincidence because look what I have over here. Ta -dum -ta -dum. Who could have guessed? I have the DJI goggles too. And um, I'm not sure I love them. <laughs> uh, they are definitely not the most comfortable goggles uh, in the world. And uh, the faceplate is too, too small for my liking. Uh, yes, this is extremely good news because the DJI decided to participate in this little adventure that we call INAF and help us a little by providing me one set of the goggles, uh, air unit uh, and the FPV controller. And by the way, this drone will, at least in the beginning, fly with the FPV controller. Uh, to test if the beta flight compatibility mode is working. Yes, it's working. So yes, INAF and the DJI Air Unit 03 and those new fancy goggles is a thing. So what we're gonna do today? Today we're gonna flash INAF 6. Today we're gonna restore some configuration I made previously. Today we are going to unlock the Air Unit uh, because I have not activated this Air Unit over here. Uh, I was only playing with the smaller Vistas. Today we are going to connect the FPV controller to the goggles. I have no idea how that works. We will probably have to read the instructions manual. And by the way, real men do not read the instruction manual. <laughs> and then we're just going to test if everything is uh, A-OK -okay and we have the OSD, so everybody knows how to, how to live with that. Uh, that's uh, that's that. How's the plan? Everything likes the plan? Everyone likes the plan? Or should I modify the plan to, I don't know, satisfy your liking? Please write in the chat. I'm going to enable one more light. Uh, so I'm nicely separated from the background because I have one, two, three, four, five lights over here. <laughs> and I do not have a central place to like turn them on and off. Again, I have to do it like manually. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now I'm wonderfully separated from the background. Everything is better. Everything is fancier. Albert Ortlap, uh, minus 18 and two and a half feet of snow. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we go into the, we go skiing uh, in two weeks. Uh, family trip. Three years, like, three years later. Uh, after COVID more or less settled, uh, we are going to Czech Republic, Spindlerowy Moon, by the way. And we are like observing the, the snow level over there. No snow, no snow, no snow, no snow. Oh, there's some snow. Maybe we're going to have some snow. So um, 
Ja, uh, change in plan, skip DJI and go analog. No, no, sorry guys, I'm not ever going back to analog with uh, <laughs> all due respect. Uh, no, this is not, no, no, no. It's, it's 2023, really, honestly, guys, it's 2023. And uh, although analog was something like a few years ago, it's no longer something. So that's not really the case over here. Let me activate the top camera uh, so we all know. Ooh, focus. And now we have focus. So I, I will have to activate this air unit uh, for sure. No, before I will play with the activation, I would like to see how the DJI FPV controller 2 feels in my hands because this is still in the original foil. I have not opened this thing yet. Uh, I just want to try if this is worth the effort or just the regular radio is, is, is a better option. Uh, who knows? Um, because maybe this is the best thing since the sliced bread. I doubt it, but maybe who knows? Uh, so, so that's also the thing. And I, I'm also planning a few tutorials on the topic, so you know, having some first-hand experience is actually a good thing. By the way, if you have not realized yet, I just dropped the kind of cool video about the 3D printed airplanes to the main channel. And also my Patreons and channel members from the level hero, I think, have access to the kind of nice video of everything you have to know about the beta flight in GPS, like everything. Um, the raw material for the video was like one and a half hours. I spent almost the whole day uh, editing this video, but it's there. It's kind of, I, I, I liked what I did. I honestly do have to say that I like what I did with that video. Oh, aha, so this goes like that. They give you the sticks uh, separately and uh, I don't like that those are M2 threads. They should be M3 threads like for example they do it for the controller for the um, for the Mavics or the Minis. Uh, kind of nicer, I can, I, I'm not really like 100% sure that uh, having the M2 is uh, robust enough. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break this thing. So this is the controller. Oh, no, so this is the replacement controller. Okay, so, so yeah. So my bad. Uh, so let's remove those and let's put them somewhere else. And let's take those little, oh, those are the blacks. That one are steel. Nice. Uh, I'm still not 100% convinced that I like this thing with those switches. On the other hand, maybe, who knows? We have a switch over here, switch over here. Who knows? Um, this is definitely for tumbers. Uh, if you are a pincher, like I am, uh, most probably this is not the real way to go with this controller, but at least it has the strap for the hook, hook for the strap, and it's nicely balanced, so that's something. Uh, Art Shell, the release of INAF end of March. Uh, we plan to more or less have the release candidate for roughly two months. So, you know, to be really like 100% sure that everything is uh, fantastic and everything is okay. Uh, so, two months. Okay, the battery is almost depleted, but this is not really a problem. Okay. Now, the question is, how should I bind the controller to the goggles? Who knows how to bind this thing to this thing? Uh, in the same way how you bind the Vistas and uh, your units, I think so. So let's begin with turning the goggles on. I'm not convinced, cool cut, about the ergonomics of this thing. Like, like honestly, I, I kind of miss the regular switches. I like regular switches. This is, this is something that I do kind of miss. It's not bad. Uh, but I honestly have to say that for the flippity floppy, I would most probably prefer the traditional radio, like the Mambo I'm using right now. Seems just better. Okay, um, uh, the problem with this, you have to... Okay, so... Goggles Emo Calibration required. 
Let's turn on this thing. Let's turn on this thing. And where's the bind button? Who's in the bind button on this thing? Robert Ortleb, thank you very much for your super kind donation. Highly appreciated. Who the hell seen the bind button on this thing? We have to read the instruction manual, apparently. I hate reading instruction manual. Bind button in O3, then press and hold. No, I want to bind this with this, not with the air unit. Uh, press and hold uh, the power button. Okay. Let me read the instruction manual because, you know, oh, this is... So, how to do it? Okay, press once to check battery, press, then press and hold to turn off and on. Mm -hmm. Linking, aircraft plus goggles. Press the link button on the goggles. The goggles will beep continually. Press and hold the power button on the aircraft until the battery level indicator. No, but this is... Uh, Aircraft plus remote controller. Press and hold the power button on the aircraft until the battery level indicator blinks in sequence. Press and hold the power button on the remote controller until it beeps continually. Oh, this is how it works. Mm, okay, so that means that I first will have to activate the DJI Air Unit 03 over here because I have not activated this thing yet. So the activation. I don't like how they did the activation uh, on uh, those latest versions that you have to use the the smartphone. I honestly preferred the standalone uh, application on my PC. This was much more convenient than having to have this thing ungodly thing. So okay, um, let's turn this thing on. Let's turn this thing on. Let's switch. Okay. Shut up. Okay, it's shut up. So, smartphone. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna. Okay, is this thing on? Is this thing is on? So okay. Uh, where do I have the DJI Fly? Here's the DJI Fly. Why it's not detecting the air unit for activation? It's powered for sure, but it's not detected. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, and now I have to press the button on the on this thing. Where's the fucking button? Where's the... Uh, like, man! Where is this button? Who have seen the button to press on the unit? Ah, here it is. No, it's not. Here it is. I need something like man. No. Why I do not have anything to be able to maybe a pen. Okay, it's blinking. But I have not activated the air unit, so Hmm. Uh, 
This is not good, guys. There's something super fishy over here. Uh, them noobs, exactly. Them noobs. USB power only? Really? This is the thing now? Okay. Let me cut the power to the air unit. Let's see if now it will be better. So they apparently indeed changed something. Uh, you absolutely should read the instruction manual. Still not detecting the serial port and not giving me the option for activation. No. No, not pilot, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. Like what? They are really not making this whole process simpler. Okay, when I activated the O3, I used the computer. Okay. Let's give that option a try. I have a PC over here. I can use the PC to activate the O3. Uh, DJI Assistant FPV series. Yes, I want to run the DJI Assistant uh, FPV series. Maybe it's only me. Uh, but somehow I very often feel that I'm not com really compatible with the DJI stuff. <laughs> okay, let me power the air unit up, not the FPV series. Okay, guys. Hmm. I so you have to you, you're telling me that I need the DJI Assistant Consumer Drone series, right? DJI, why? <laughs> why? Why are you doing this thing to me? You have to activate the goggles with your smartphone this thing with the completely different app. DJI Assistant uh, Consumer. <sighs> Fuck! This is not how you do it! Guys! I'm un like, if I was the engineer, I would not do it like that. <laughs> no, I am the <laughs> I I'm not the expert on the usability. I'm not. I honestly will have to tell you that I'm not. I tend to create too complicated of the user interfaces in the applications I'm building. I admit that my goal is to have the simplicity. <laughs> but whose decision was to was to have this thing? Bind that activated with the app on your smartphone. This thing activated by running the PC application and the standard air units with the completely different piece of software. God, this is this is so bad. This is so bad. I knew that there is a different application on the PC for consumer drones, but I never really used it. No. Like, damn. I can't believe it. Bloody hell. Ah, now I have to find out what's my password. <laughs> yes, I want to allow the access, allow the access. Yes, use. And guess what? This, this bloody application looks exactly like 
the previous one. At least give it a different colors, or I don't know. What's my password for the DGI? Ah, oh, okay, I know the password now. This is so bad. SD, STS5. I have agreed. Yes, I read it. Sign in. This is bad, guys. But okay, I promised myself I, I have to be more optimistic. So now I will be much more optimistic and uh, everything will be fantastic. So I bet they had a reason to do it like that. <laughs> okay. Why it's not picking the fact that, ah, now we are talking. Yes. <laughs> Start activation. Allow access. Yes. Damn. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sento Elu, yes, uh, most probably you have a flight controller, different variation of the flight controller that the gyro is not configured for it. Uh, I have no idea what you have, but most probably this is this is the case. Uh, and uh, you would have to most probably check which kind of the gyro you have on board, and if it's supported by INAV, and it not, if it not, then write a ticket for us to add the support for this gyro on this flight controller. Uh, that's that. Okay, so activation was working. Uh, firmware update, yes, we will have to do the upgrade because I want to... Oh, I absolutely want to have the latest one, 150 megabytes. Bloody hell, 150 megabytes uh, for the stupid firmware <laughs> for the small VTX. No, we are living in the interesting times when the firmware for the... <laughs> <laughs> for the VTX is 150 megabytes. Yes, I understand that this is full Android and the whole stack, uh, but this is this is a different thing. Uh, Net FPV, I have already activated the goggles. The goggles are activated. The goggles are on the latest firmware. I was playing with different drones, not this one. So this is done. But yeah, I will have to then activate absolutely the uh, DJI FPV controller. That's a lot. Mm, that's really a lot of effort to pull off something that simple like be able to use it i'm impressed i'm absolutely impressed brandon beans uh, you want that update yes i do uh, i'm going to use the v2 goggles with the i'm only using this with the new system i'm not using the previous generation of the goggles because besides i have the v1 goggles the first generation so i even it will never talk to the o3 not a chance. So I want everything on the latest firmware. This one I know. I even uh, updated the... I even, I will quite honestly tell you, I even uninstalled WTF OS from One Vista and One A unit while also I created a tutorial on how to do it. Because guess what? Uh, WTF OS can be uninstalled and removed, <laughs> but that doesn't allow you to update the firmware. <laughs> you still have to do some magic. <laughs> Like this is really like no, nah, but but okay, something at least is going. I want the latest firmware everywhere. I do not intend to use the V1 goggles anymore. I do not intend to use the V1 goggles anymore because they are kind of too big, and uh, I prefer those because of the size and the features and other things as well. Yes, they are not the most comfortable. I agree that this foamy, spongy thing over here, over my nose, it puts my eyes too close to the lenses and I do not really comfortably see all the screen. Uh, the bottom bottom row, like 10% uh, from the bottom, is kind of blurry. So this is not good, but this is so smaller than the previous generation of the goggles, so I'm going with those. I will somehow... Uh, I will somehow live without the WTF OS. I was only happy with the WTF OS for like three months, so I suppose that the beta flight compatibility mode uh, will be enough. Uh, by the way, I'm talking to DJI about uh, how maybe there will be a chance to have the separate fonts for the INAV. 
on the DJI so that uh, we have all the glyphs because the problem is that uh, Betaflight is only using 256 glyphs in the fonts. iNav is using uh, 512 glyphs and the, some glyphs from one are not present in the second one. So what iNav does, it basically translates characters uh, iNav uses to characters that uh, Betaflight uses. If the character is not found, then it just puts the uh, question mark and it's like, Pfft. but okay, um, but okay, but okay, but okay. Uh, if um, DJI would add uh, 512 glyphs, uh, then we would be able to have something more in that manner. Yeah. Uh, net uh, FPV, no, I don't uh, wear uh, prescription inserts on the on the on the goggles. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, I have like my like minus uh, half the options only. This is this is mostly for comfort, uh, and I even do not have to wear goggles on the gog uh, glasses on any different goggles. Uh, like the first generation DJI, is like just like put them on my face and everything is fantastic. Mm hmm. Yeah, this download is extremely slow, and my internet is not really uh, that slow. <laughs> it's not the fastest one, uh, but it's slow. Not that slow. I easily can, I have download speeds of like 40 megabytes per second. No problem. Here, no, not really. So we're going to just talk about different uh, different crap over here. Or maybe we just going to do some magic, and we're going to flash the INAV to this thing. Hmm... Because we do kind of have to flash enough. The drone is currently running with the where's that where's that USB cable? The, the drone is currently running with the Betaflight because yesterday I was uh, recording the tutorial about the Betaflight, so this should go live uh, next week, I think. And uh, well, I needed a Betaflight. And this was like, you know, uh, on the workbench, so kind of convenient. Uh, we just went there and we, I'm saying we, but this was really me, and installed everything. So, um, oh no, I can, like, what the fuck? And this ungodly application is hugging the serial port. Hello, Joshua Gibson. Nice to see you around. So... What the f <laughs> I think I will have to entertain you with something else for the time being because I cannot work with uh, with enough configurator because DJI application is hugging the serial port and uh, we are waiting for the download to finish which is right now at 14%. I most probably should have done it earlier. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. On the other hand, I was working until the 5 p.m. So, so you know, uh, let me get the blazer. What? Yeah. How this thing is called in English? This is the... Hmm. In Polish, it would be bezrękawnik, which roughly translates to the one without sleeves. Sleevesless something. I I don't know. So, what? how, how this thing is, is called in English? Let, let, me, let me learn something today. <laughs> <laughs> you will be teaching me something new today. Um, is there anything I can entertain you for the time being? Hmm. I don't really have that much of the interesting thing to in entertain you with, uh, because for the last uh, two weeks uh, I'm mostly killing my free time with the Xbox. I finally, after like 10 years of the break, decided to buy me a gaming console and decided to go not with PlayStation, but with the Xbox. And I like it. <laughs> Forza Horizon 5, like, ah, I'm fast. <laughs> no cool cut, there will be no dancing and singing. Uh, I have a nice low voice, and they even wanted, like, years ago, me to try to, to sing in the core. 
uh, but I have huge problems with like following the correct memory <laughs> melody. So no, 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 no. I won't be doing the singing because that would make absolutely no sense. No sense. Uh, Net FPV. We are going to use the F DJI radio because well, I never used the DJI radio before. Uh, this drone ultimately will have the Express LRS. Uh, but I got this uh, like so I decided now maybe this is a good idea to actually see if this thing is working and what what this thing can do because why not and this might be just a good idea uh, to have some experience this is definitely not designed to be run with the uh, FPV drones because of like the record button over here and like return to home button over here uh, but it's an option. It's an option, so so why not? I will have some experience uh, and stuff. Uh, we will be, of course, using this thing um, because I like. I think I like uh, those things, but that's a completely completely different story. Sleeveless is better than best. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you even? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool cut. I I loved the Porsche two thousand Porsche. Uh, and Need for Speed Porsche, I love this game. Like, I don't remember how many hours I had. Now Forza Horizon, yes. Gillette Jacket. Um, okay. Okay, why not? That's that's a name. Uh, Micro 10 FPV uh, was testing the INAV6 release candidate one, and the angle mode improved a lot. Yes, the angle mode improved a lot, because now the angle mode is also working with the new artificial horizon. Uh, so just the estimation of the current angles is much more precise, and this thing, because of that, is just like behaving better. So this is a huge, uh, indeed, this is a huge step forward. And the process of downloading this software is like on 20%. Like, man, why it's so slow? It should not be that that slow. Mm, record button still works with the O3A unit. Okay, okay, that's nice. Uh, well, we can probably connect the return to home with the return to home option in INAF, right? Because come on, we have this we have this thing uh, configured. Oh, by the way, um, Brandon. Uh, then the question is, how uh, am I? Oh no, okay. No, no, no questions because I can just start the recording with the goggles on the air unit. Okay, okay, you you answer. By the way, how's the video quality on the air unit recordings? It's really that good as people are saying, or or not really? Because I'm considering if I should put the GoPro sleeve uh, on this build, because if this will be a decent, I'm not I I'm not going to really like bother of installing the GoPro sleeve on this. Mm, so I can have the option to auto record on ARM. <laughs> yeah, this was never working with the previous generation of the air units and the goggles. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Mm. Jaro, uh, can we have automatic max efficiency climb mode? Uh, can yes. Uh, now you have to find a developer who will do it. That's unfortunately the reality over here. Um, <clears throat> uh, Kirkirov, uh, how does sending the packages from the ESC to the flight uh, controller work? That uh, FC knows. Uh, that does FC know that the motor reached the speed uh, which it told it. Uh, if it will send the package too often, the motor can overheat. So this is not how it goes. Uh, the this is a common misconception. You ESC no. Uh, scratch that. Flight controller has no idea how fast the motor is rotating. Uh, flight controller is not even setting the desired rotation speed. Uh, what flight controller is uh, setting via the protocol, standard multi-shot, D-shot, that doesn't really matter. It sets the power level and only that. So if I set like the throttle to 50%, uh, the ESC is informed that it should run the duty cycle of the power at 50%. That's all. And when the power is like 100, it should uh, use the 100% on the duty cycle on the face. This, this is gone. This is not really depending, the dependent on the, uh, on the motor speed. 
uh, motor rotation and speed. Also, the flight controller has no idea if the ESC reached, will reach, or ever reach the desired power cycle. This is one-way communication. Yes, with the RPM tele telemetry, uh, with the dish telemetry and ESC telemetry in general, uh, ESC is informed uh, about the RPM, but ESC is not informed about the max RPM. ESC is not informed about the current power uh, cycle. ESC, EFC is not really informed about almost anything that's relevant. And because the RPM really depends on like on the load, on the torque, uh, on the KV, on the voltage, etc., 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 nobody really knows what's the max uh, RPM that the motor can reach. And by the way, this is not the KV. KV is not how fast the motor is rotating. KV is uh, how many volts it generates when it's rotating on the back EMF. Completely two different stories. So, uh, so absolutely not. Mario FPV INAV6, yes. <laughs> Yes, we finally finally did it. So uh, I hope here that uh, this kind of answers your, your question. Uh, this just works in a slightly different way. Um, we are not working with RPMs in terms of the flight controllers. We are just working with the power cycle, uh, power output level, like 0 to 100% without really knowing what does it, what does it mean. Uh, will it reach this level? Will it not reach the le this level? Like, who really knows? Um, Brandon Beans was flying O3 around the parking lot at night and it rivals GoPro in that situation for long range cinematic. It's proven difficult to get the image I want. Well, kind of expected, but still, like, maybe it will be kind of good. Who knows? Uh, I can take. I'm building. I can take is building the nine inch uh, INAV drone on my desk right now. If my motors are unbalanced enough, can it cause the drone to be impossible to tune? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, with this size of the propellers, um, if you do not really have a super stiff arms, uh, then. Oh, I clicked something. And then most probably you might have problems. Uh, and uh, on top of that, you should basically try to balance uh, dynamically. This is super, by the way, this is complicated. Um, what I would, however, uh, not really like worry about this thing too much from the start because, well, it's too early. Uh, first, see how it goes. What are the noise levels at the filters relatively low? Probably you will have to go with the LPF to like 60, 70 hertz. Uh, but after checking, of course with the uh, black box lock of how this really looks like um, but uh, but yeah that's 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 the situation might work uh, out of the box might not work out of the box you will have to play with uh, filters you will have to play with tuning uh, i had like 10 inch like power wooden 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 drones with oversized motors and uh, 10 inch propellers uh, that was something like a noisy beast but was flying fantastically like like wow until it crashed and it, like, <laughs> i had to throw it away uh, sylvine mobla uh, since DV, dgi dev cycle is unknown we'll try to get some extra character translated by approximation for example meter kilometer uh, miles per hour or are we keeping the question mark in the o3 osd we are keeping the question mark because we have nothing to translate to uh, we do not have right now the option to change the font on the goggles. So uh, and also how the how the something might improve, but I'm not really sure how much will improve because then we are really building like the special implementation of the whole OSD, not only of the MSP display port inside of the INAV. It's really like complicated. Um, Basic glyphs are working. Basic stuff is working. Not so basic stuff is not really that much working. Uh, maybe some extra translations will be added. Uh, we still have like few months until the two months actually before the release of the INF6, uh, the stable version. So there is a chance that uh, something will happen. <coughs> okay. Um, Ranad Zabirov, will there be a gradual speed increase or the gradual speed decrease when approaching the home point uh, at return to home? Uh, yes, it will like accelerate and decelerate. Uh, the deceleration is not yet perfect. It kind of sometimes overshoots. Uh, so uh, this is something that will have to be improved in the latest version, but it will there will be a like acceleration deceleration. Kind of short, but yes. 
Danikov, uh, may DJI support about the rebind bug in the Google's V2 Plus or 3A unit, and they are sending me a free Sandings Extreme SD card as the compensation for the bug, if someone needs one. <laughs> Send it. Maybe they will send you something. Uh, I should... Water. Um, on the, on Saturday, yeah, that was Saturday, I was gaming with my friend. We were playing Worms. Uh, and uh, for the first time in like four years, I drank too much. <laughs> I made myself an uh, Anish vodka, Anis vodka, uh, for Poles, Anishówka, like that tasty. You cannot even, I was not able to sense the, the taste of the alcohol, like only Anish and only sweet taste. Like it killed the taste of the alcohol completely. It was almost like a juice, still 35% juice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I had such a huge hangover on su Sunday. Oh man, that was like I don't really remember when the last time I had such a hangover. Um, <clears throat> that's that. Uh, Renat Zabirov, how to make the quadcopter not jump in the air mode when landing? I have a video about that. I have the the video is called the Sinalinter landing, so we can even go here. Uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Spychalski in a lifter landing. Yes, land like a pro. You see this one. So let me copy the link. Let me post it here. So watch it. This is this is what I do on my cine lifter. I just have the special uh, uh, preset uh, that uh, kills the air mode, lowers the eye gains and uh, does a few other different additional things that basically allows to land uh, without any almost uh, bumps. Still, the low note is at 41%. Bloody hell. Uh, Jaro, could it be that DJI has just uh, just has the personal thing with iNav users because we keep grilling them for almost everything? No, I don't. No, no, no. This is this is just about the the size, and uh, they never really like considered us to be a considerable market. Uh, because let's be honest, software development and adding new feature is uh, expensive. I'm a software developer. I know how much company my company I work for is spending on the software developers. Not precisely, but I know how many software developers we have, and I know <laughs> more or less uh, how we are paid, so I can extrapolate what are the yearly costs. And then uh, we, if we combine this thing with the information of how many new features we are able to develop <laughs> in one year, I'm more or less, you can like find out what, what what's the cost of like adding a new feature. Uh, because when you are a big company and a corporation, the software development process gets kind of longish. So it's not like on the startup mode when you just sit and like a week later, okay, I have everything. A week later, you have nothing. <laughs> because a week later, you have not really aligned on everything that's supposed to happen. So so that's different uh, different situation. Uh, Judge of four, I have no idea what uh, for Euro 20 means in this case, but uh, this is per minute? <laughs> or what? <laughs> No, per minute. Um, let me one more time change. So, da, 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 da. Uh, no, so I'm not earning that much per minute of my work. <laughs> I wish. I wish, but uh, but not really. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, cool Cat is one of those, so I don't drink at all. 17 years sober. Fantastic, man. Uh, fantastic that's that's I really like 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 okay good for you I I, I only support uh, I'm uh, on the other hand I'm I'm a drinking non-drinker and smoking non-smoker uh, because I don't drink alcohol in the way that I don't I hate being drunk and I hate having a hangover the next day that means that I basically almost never drink enough 
to to be drunk and that was like the like it was just too good and i had too much fun so that that was the mistake um years ago i stopped drinking beer i almost never drink strong alcohols if i drink strong alcohol maybe it's some um, like good whiskey or like this anish vodka <laughs> that's good <laughs> wine from time to time and and that's basically all uh, even when we are going to the different parties i'm not drinking on parties like by design i prefer to go there with my car uh, have fun with my wife. Uh, she's drinking. I'm not drinking. We, I, I can even dance with absolutely without alcohol. It's fantastic, outstanding. No problem in my case. However, from time to time, I like like to sip something. And exactly the same for, in my case is uh, with smoking. I was heavy smoking for 18 years, something like that. And then I stopped. Like I was trying to stop uh, smoking earlier, but it was never really working. And then I stopped smoking, uh, and I still smoke like a few cigarettes every month. Like I don't buy. Like if I meet someone who's smoking, like oh, okay, I know why I hate smoking <laughs> because I was smoking, but I hated the taste of the cigarette. So that's 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 that. Yeah. Uh, Jojo 4, yes, absolutely. The increased number of software developers reduces the output. Yes, this is 100% true. And if you add the project manager to the to the to the mix, the output uh, drops by half. <laughs> there is even this law. I don't remember what how the law is named. That uh, adding new resources to already delayed projects delay the project even more. 100% correct. Um, yes, the, the most uh, the most rapid uh, development cycles I seen in my days when when there was like two or three developers, no project management, no product management, not anything like that. Just the developers, well motivated developers, closed with the room, fed with the pizza, coke, and uh, coffee, and whenever whatever they wanted. And like if they were really like in the flow, they were able to deliver super fast. Then completely separate team that would run the QA, not the developers because no, they are exhausted with the with the development, and then we are done. But this is not something that is possible with the bigger bigger IT companies. That that's that's not just not how it works. <sighs> Jaro, thank you very much for a super kind uh, 35 uh, pounds. Wow, pounds uh, donation. Highly appreciated, man. Uh, Denikov, uh, not Denikov, sorry. Uh, Jojo for about the M10. Uh, yes, uh, you can connect the M10 with the serial port. Uh, like I have the M10 over here on this drone working perfectly, just the chipset directly to the. Uh, I, the I'm not sure how this thing, uh, this, this GPS is working uh, internally. Uh, maybe just there is enough to use a specific parts or maybe a special firmware for, for this. I don't really know because I never really was using uh, the specific model. Robert Rosser, uh, hello. Uh, hello, yes, everything is more or less fine. We are right now trying to update the firmware on the DJI Air Unit 03. And it's like trying to download the firmware for the last 25 minutes, honestly. And we are only at 57%. <laughs> On the other hand, the software for the VTX is like 150 megabytes. Uh, Pritaman, uh, why I chose INAF over Betaflight? Uh, because why not? Because it flies as well as Betaflight? It has more options? I kind of I kind of have to use iNav because I'm from <laughs> I'm the iNav guy but I'm using iNav because I like how it flies it flies just fantastic it satisfies every every single one of my needs uh, I understand it it's it's even simpler sometimes to set up than the beta flight you do not have to fight with strange things that beta flight has like super irritating vtx setup and other like not really friendly user friendly things all the drones you see over there they are all enough 
3 inches, 5 inches, 7 inches, I had 10 inches, 2 inches, everything was flying kind of. Fantastic. Absolutely no problem. And yes, that's true that years ago Betaflight was flying better than the INAV. I admit that. That was true. Uh, but it's no longer a case. They are flying almost exactly the same. Oh, well, not. The performance is very. Performance is excellent on both. Uh, they are not flying the same because the flight uh, behavior is slightly different, especially on the defaults. Uh, but they fly. And uh, if they fly, then why not? Unification. Just less things to worry. MC Creations. Hello, mate. It was a while since the last time you visited one of my live stream. Three D printed molds and uh, two part foam. Uh, I don't think that's the best idea. Three uh, D printed foam, maybe. On the other hand, hmm. I don't know. I wish I had time to play with things like that. Uh, maybe they are providing dial-up internet speed for enough configurator in detected on the PC. Maybe, like, bloody hell, this is like... And really, like, I have absolutely not a problem with running everything else. Look, like, the internet is, is running smoothly over here. I just... Everything is there, like, I don't know, I can... Open I want to thank the sponsor of this from... episode, LastPass, okay. which remembers your... Shh. Okay, like, I can even switch to... Oh, there is no 4K. But, you see... Works perfectly. Like, not a problem. Yet, this thing is so slow. No idea why. Oh, I also published a new video on my different channel about to how to read the private key in Java from file. If you are into those kind of things, maybe you should watch it. Because, you see, it's me. <laughs> Talking about Java development. Uh, yeah, software development. We all love software development. Um, I don't know how many of you are really unlike in the IT, but who knows? I the, the decision to kind of become a software developer was probably one of the best decisions in my life. I love what I'm doing, though, so that's that's fantastic. Sometimes I would like to stop, but then like eh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a power play. We are at sixty six percent. Uh, Evan Mahendra, did I have a pit preset recommendation for 5-inch quad? Yes, use the defaults. That's the best pit preset I can give you for the 5-incher. Absolutely, that should fly great. Uh, and honestly, even my tunes on the 5-incher over there is only slightly modified, the default preset. Uh, but I have usually a clean build with not a lot of uh, gyro noise, so so I can pull uh, push usually filters and uh, the gains slightly higher than than, than most other. Uh, Kirkirov, uh, can the motor overheat if the FC will request too much throw it? Yes, absolutely. Um, the maybe let's let's call it like that. The motor will overheat if the load is uh, the maybe less the motor will overheat if the heat dissipation uh, from the heat generated as the losses during the current uh, output power will be higher than the capacity of the motor to dissipate the heat so um, that means that if you overprop your uh, motor, it will overheat. If you run higher voltage, it will overheat. If you will run it too long, comparing to how it can be run, it will overheat. Uh, if it's not overheating at 50%, but it's overheating at 100%, this is normal because then probably, if assuming that in 50%, the the power output is 100 watts, the waste power is 10 watts. But if you go to the full power, then you are most probably closer to 300 watts, and then you are wasting like 30 watts of heat. And this 30 watt of heat's like heating, it's heating up the the coils, and this is like increasing the temperature because the cooling of the motor is is not enough and uh, this is not about requesting too much power it's just if you have too big of the load and too big of the power uh, usage and the 
power losses comparing to the ability of the of the motor to dissipate the heat then the temperature will rise and that's that's the physics um, how to calculate drone arm and frame length um, based on the propeller size like if you have 10 inch propeller then one arm is five inch so that means that the arm has to be at least five inch maybe slightly more <laughs> and that's all and how i'm doing this uh, i'm designing my frames for like years uh, so maybe we can take a look how how i usually come to this problem um, let me quickly launch the autodesk fusion 360 and uh, i'm pretty sure we will be able to open one of my designs and see what's going on there so uh, um, Okay, when I'm building, when I'm designing my, my frame, this is usually what I do. I start with uh, placing one of the motors uh, and writing a circle that represents the diameter of the propeller. That means that nothing can go inside uh, into the uh, this circle. If anything goes uh, inside the circle, then, uh, well, we have a problem. And I think I have to replace the HDMI cable for my main camera because I'm flickering all the time. Oh, thunderstorm. Eee. I wonder how my internet will react to this. And I think my internet is just dying at this very moment. So that's one. And then I just move the propellers, uh, the circle, I create four circles. And that represent the plates, uh, design more or less how much space I have inside, uh, front and rear, leave some uh, space between them for the vortexes to be able to work freely. Uh, more or less add the 40 centimeters, 40 millimeters for the for the width of the frame because there is like 36 by 36 plus some, so this gives more or less 40. One more time, add the five or one centimeter over here, and I have the layout for the frame. And then it's only uh, filling everything uh, rest inside and uh, attaching all the other uh, components to the frame. Nothing really like special. There are no special equations in the process. Oh, fuck. Hail. Oh, bloody hell. Hailstorm outside and I'm on the attic. I wonder when my internet will die. Okay, internet is dying, apparently, right now. And by the way, I have the... Uh, how it's called? I have the radio link. So whenever there is a thunderstorm, my internet will die. Uh, okay, let's, let's quickly see what are the... Was there supposed to be a thunderstorm today? Hmm... Like, bloody hell. Oh, fuck, yeah. There is definitely supposed to be heavy rain today. 25 meters per second. Seconds. Uh, yeah, that's that's fast. And also some tomorrow. Bloody hell, I have to probably close the doors. I'm not sure how much of the thunderstorm you can... Ah. Uh, my update. My update is still running on 82%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. And let's see Windy. Windy.com. Uh, how the situation looks like on the weather radar. Mm -hmm. Ha! You see? The Windy is not even reporting any thunderstorm in this area. Yet, we have it right now. That was probably not expected. Rain? Sure, because it's always raining. Uh, okay, thunderstorm, not really. Wind? Not really. Interesting. Huh! 
Check up. 84%. <laughs> yeah, so no, this is not really interesting. Uh, oh, there is a... There is a warning uh, for my uh, for my area. I live over here, and there is the you see, exactly yeah. This is this front storm front. I think this is the name. This is like thirty kilometers that direction. That's like yeah. So internet is back. <laughs> Like I said, this is this is the the cool thing about having the the radio link. <laughs> it's there and it stops being there if you have only thunder. On the other hand, I wonder when where my wife is. Um, um, mm, anyhow, 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 anyhow. How's the update procedure? <laughs> oh man! Update failed. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I think. <laughs> Uh, Robert Bulko, thank you very much for the 10 euro donation. <laughs> and now we will have to go back. This is not the... Yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure that it makes much sense for us to continue. At least the update process, because this will never... This, this will not happen today. And uh, with the thunderstorm uh, outside, most probably it will just like... Are the inter... Bad of light. On the Matek H743, but we don't want a Matek H743, 60RC1, full chip erase, load firmware, and we are flashing. So that's that. Uh, fun stream. Yeah, I also think I like it. I had a, I had a lot of fun. I have to honestly admit that I had a lot of fun, much more than I expected, especially when I realized how messed up the situation with the Stingies are. Uh, like special application for this special application for that and completely different application for something completely different oi oi and we really like we talked about drinking and not drinking i i think i like this controller to be honest it's it feels kind of nice in hands at least if you're a tumber pincher mm. Mm. nah but for a tumber i bet i bet it's a it's a pretty, pretty decent one. It's absolutely shit happens, and I only wish that process of flashing H7 was slightly faster. But... LMFA, yo, yo. Oh, God. This was so long ago. Still, we have, uh, like, uh, how it's called? Mm, we have covers of the songs that I grew up with. No. Uh, I see right now covers of the songs I loved when I was a teenager or early adult. <laughs> early adult, let's call it like that. Man, I'm old. <laughs> the moment when the internet died. Yup. Absolutely. Um, uh, RCA, FPV, Skygates. Mm -hmm. The thing with the Skygates is that uh, even if there was someone who would like to implement it, uh, there is not a popular hardware that uh, can run it. The only, in theory, ca capable hardware that can run something like that would be the FreeSky Pixel OSD. But this is the project is dead. Like nobody is doing anything like that. Not nothing with the MSP Display Port. Nothing with the standard analog. So so that's 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 that. So I'm not really sure if uh, this can be pulled off. Uh, Mechaniker and I still have no idea when I will have my new house. <laughs> but over there, I will try to have the fastest I can. 
<laughs> hopefully fiber. Um, this thing is like, yeah, we have all the papers to start building, uh, but you, do you know what you have to have to start building a house? I will tell you. It's a very important thing. It's the most important thing. Like Napoleon Bonaparte, the guy, said to run a war, you need three things. Money, money, and one more time, money. And exactly the same applies to building a house. So, and plus the prices are right now are crazy. And uh, we are not really in that much of the hurry. Uh, so the plan is that we still have to save a little. A little, like that much of the a little. Uh, to have uh, enough money to build the house with the roof. Because if I will build the house with the roof, then I can like leave it there for like a year without worrying that uh, the the roof will get wet or like anything bad will happen to it. Then uh, sell this apartment we have over here and that will give us enough money to, to finish the house and move there. That's the plan. But still like to pull off the plan, I still have to like earn like quite a lot. Let's say I'm 60, 66% over there. <laughs> um, I'm not really building that much of the drones recently. I'm not really buying uh, that much stuff. I have enough of the stuff and the supply for the from the manufacturers is usually more than enough to like to have something. The, the only thing I bought for the... Um, excuse me for a second. Yeah, so that was my wife. She had luck because the tree fall on the on the road. Uh, luckily, she like that. everything is fine. It's not like it's not like it fell on her, but it all like like in the front it fell. So it complicated, but still, uh, the thunderstorm was really like uh, kind of impressive. So that's that. And uh, where were we? I forgot exactly where were we. Um, excuse me for a second. Yeah, they are coming over. Uh, the the younger daughter was on the dance dancing lessons. I don't remember what we are talking about, but uh, but that's the reality. Okay, the flashing of the INAF is uh, there. Uh, Kirkirov, is there a way to know that the motor reached the needed power level if we know RPM or something else? Not really. Uh, because the power level is not directly translated to the RPM. Uh, this is one more time misconception. Uh, you, if, for example, um, even if you observe like the curve that the RPM will will reach and like try to locate the max RPM and like go there, but then. Uh, it will be freewheeling. It will not really producing much of the mechanical power because it's like freewheeling. So, but if you then put a lot of load on the motor, it will slow down, and this is completely much lower RPM. Yet the power output of this motor is much higher because of the load is much higher. So this is all like everything is like complicated. It's a good. It's a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Like the size of the Maltanese, like, like yeah, it's a dog, <laughs> it's a dog. So uh, one more, one one more time, one more new thing in the INAF six is the separate preset for the seven inches, uh, because there are some differences over there. So let's just hit over here. Let's install the seven inch preset. 
And I think I will also make the separate three inch preset uh, because I think it kind of makes sense. She's a good girl. <laughs> She's a good boy. <laughs> no, this is too binary. No, this is too non-binary. This like, ah. There's a reason I'm not watching modern television videos, movies, or is almost none. I, I saw the Avatar, uh, The Way of Water, like a few weeks ago, and I was super, super happy that the film was not really about the LGBTQ+. I have nothing against the LGBTQ. I support the rights, absolutely. But I don't like to be indoctrinated all the time. <laughs> anyhow, uh, anyhow, so that's that. Um, in terms of the air unit itself, the thing that will uh, have to happen to have the air unit 03 supported is that uh, we would have to select in the peripherals MSP DisplayPort. Now the port option MSP DisplayPort is true for the HD0 WTOS or Avatar, uh, Walksnail Avatar and the DJI uh, 03 with the MSP DisplayPort. The DJI FPV VTX is only for the previous generation of the digital uh, the AIR units and Vistas uh, without the latest firmware. Uh, with the DisplayPort, you have to select the DisplayPort. Uh, of course, hit save and reboot. We will not be doing that, by the way, uh, in the very moment. And then the magical thing that you still have to do, mm, I should have saved. Anyhow, anyhow, save and reboot. Yeah, she's barking. The smaller the dog, the noisier they are. <laughs> this is absolute true. And the last thing that we have to do is to go to the OSD tab, uh, because there is one extra configuration we have to do. And this is the video format. Uh, unfortunately, we do not really have the option to auto-detect this thing because we don't really know about the, the implementation. Uh, but for like nobody knows what, we use PAL. For the HD0, we of course use HD0. For the WTF OS, we use DJI WTF OS. For the Walksnail Avata, we use Avata. And for the new DJI MSP DisplayPort, include everything that has to have the OSD with the new goggles too, uh, we select BF Compat. And as you can see, the size of the preview gets lower because this is just the smaller OSD. And that's all. There is no any extra configuration uh, anywhere. You can like select this, but this doesn't make makes any sense. And uh, And that's all. You only run safe and you are golden. Uh, there is nothing really else that uh, to be done over there. So the process is relatively simple. Uh, like I said, we almost every element uh, over there is working. However, some glyphs are present, are not present, and they are just missing. And you, then you will just see the question mark instead of the missing uh, missing glyph. That's all. That's there is nothing really. Uh, much to it and uh, and that's all okay guys uh, because i kind of failed to install the update on the <laughs> on this ungodly thing and i still would have to install the update and activate this thing so i don't really think that it makes uh, much more sense to continue our stream today i think that uh, we might try having a stream when regular stream you know saturday one or two hours doing uh, fancy stuff uh, previous one was like on the 14th mm, on the 11th i'm out because i'm going uh, skiing for a week so i'm also not think that we're gonna have any videos between the 11th and the uh, 18th of the february so you know what let's do the next uh, stream uh, this saturday i think this uh, kind of makes sense mm, let me quickly switch on my calendar for the month view and yeah absolutely Let's have the live stream this Saturday. We're gonna talk about talk about stuff. I have a few topics already prepared. Uh, message retracted. So sorry, I will not explain the retracted message. <clears throat> 
Uh, cool cut. Every modern film or Netflix series seems to assume I require political messaging or educational messages. Yes. Um, there is a dude on the YouTube. Uh, I recently... I I devour his videos like crazy recently. Uh, the guy is called the Critical Drinker. If you don't know the Critical Drinker, like... Please do. I don't really like care about most of the videos and movies he is reviewing or talking about, um, but I very much like his video videos, and uh, and that's that. And imagine that I'm probably one of the most progressional and like free spirited people ever out there. But kind of, yeah. that's a completely different story. Uh, so I, I I highly recommend the Critical Drinker. Uh, yes, absolutely. Kind of like slightly biased. I do have to say that that the guy is from time to time slightly biased, and I don't always agree with everything uh, he says. Uh, some even might say that uh, he's too far right. Uh, but majority, like a lot of things, like. I, I do agree like with like the, the the men in the modern culture are basically castrated right now. I do we have any girls with us today? Usually not. But maybe like yeah. I probably you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, and that's that. Okay guys. And that would be all for today, I suppose. Mm, I will try to update this bloody contraption of the DJI Air Unit 03 and the controller. And uh, Google says that now it's the good moment to insert ads. Nah, we will not insert ads today. Uh, um, okay. Okay, guys. So, um, happy, happy Tuesday. I love 6 is going nicely. Uh, so far, no major problems detected. Interesting. Usually there are some major problems detected, but uh, not yet right now. So thank you very much. And like always, happy flying. <laughs>